Well, Josh, thanks. It was fun. Yeah. Spending a couple days together. Yeah. Now, this guy here, you know, he was about 15. I just got to say that again <laughs> when I first met him. And you could tell he was an addict. Absolutely could tell. Reminded me of myself when I was that age. But it's been fun getting out. He's older now. He's, he turned into a, an adult musky suck addict now. And a big guiding career and all of even though he doesn't have any space for anybody else to guide. But hopefully you had fun and you're going to do it again with us. Oh, for sure. I had a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys having me come with and get in the front of the boat for a few days. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, that is nice. Is oh, it you? is. <laughs> I get the first crack at the fish, so I appreciate that. It was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Especially when you guide every day for days on end. Oh, yeah. Good. I'm always stuck in the back. So nice, nice change fish. of pace. Yeah. <laughs> to see you coming with that stupid look at you. <laughs> I want it, I want it! Winter is coming. All right, my prediction today, we're gonna catch two and we're gonna see three others. Biggest fish is gonna be a 47. Not the biggest one we've ever seen, but we'll oh, take him. Okay. All right, let's see here. Boy, he ate it, didn't he? All right, good start to day two. Yeah. I like it. Nicely done. You might just have to keep that viper on. Oh, I think, I think he, yeah. I got a yeah. bucktail caught in my foot. Well, that's good. This, <laughs> these are the hazards, gosh. We need a GoPro right now to show one of Dave's baits stuck in his shoe. At least it's not in both shoes. Then you'd really be stumbling around. But nicely done. That was cool. It's so fun to see him on the figure eight like that. And he uh, he disappeared on you. You didn't really oh, know yeah, where he I was mean, coming. That right? thing, he came in hot and he flashed off it. I thought he was gone for good. And, you know, we always figure eight a couple more times just in case. And sure enough, he came and crushed it. I didn't even watch him grab it. He just, just did it. He did it. Yeah, he, yeah. he crushed it. One little thing I always on the water, it's always a good idea to try and, you know, pattern things of where fish are located and stuff. And uh, when you're not seeing a ton of fish, it's a little harder. But, you know, in this situation, there's been distinctly a couple of the two fish caught have been right on the tip of a point, you know. So yep. it's, it's interesting. And one thing to look for, too, is uh, inside turns. That's sometimes it's, it's really amazing, actually, how it can be a pattern where the hot fish will be located in certain piece of structure and it's kind of neat it's always fun to watch for it yeah all right let's see here. oh very cool yeah we gotta do the we gotta yeah. do the selfie deal of course there we are yeah very nice we appreciate it we appreciate you being you and sun's out kind of still middle of the day that's a good sign yeah like it when they bite right now yeah yeah, that's for sure. That'll keep us going the next couple hours anyways. So. <laughs> yeah, we're getting into the major. <laughs> Hopefully right. that'll really fire him up. Yep. All right, thanks, little fishy. Well, she really wanted it. I figured that one would take off. God. I love it when they take off like that. This time of year is just my favorite time of year when you get in that 60s range and the days are shorter and you got these cooler mornings. It's just, uh, there's generally a shallower movement. Fish are still, after hot lures, you know, fast moving bucktails and stuff like that. And top water is extremely fun. It's a great time of year for top water. So yeah, I just love it. You don't have to worry as much about the, the fish handling. 
think nothing of holding the fish out of the water for 10, 15 seconds. It's not the end of the world. Kind of scares me to do that when the water is really hot. So it's, it's much more enjoyable in many ways. We had 39 degrees this morning, actually. So after 70, I believe we were 71 water temp at the end of the day yesterday. And we're at 69.5 right now. The future. The future. That is actually good to see. It really is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Josh has been on fire. On fire. fire. And I love it. I he's love on, it. I like watching that. He's on fire and he's been moving that bucktail. That's one good thing I would say I would say a musky fishing, wouldn't you? No, watch what the guy ahead he is doing when he's moving fish because he's been burning that thing. Oh, there's no doubt. And and this time of the year, the speed can really be a deal. And that's a great reason to have a young guy like Josh. You put him up front, you let him do the hard work, burn that thing in. But it's definitely working today. And you notice, you can see when he's figure eighting, he's continuing that high speed. I mean, he's moving it in the eights and circles as well. And those fish are still whacking it. It's hard. <laughs> Hard to keep track of it. Hard to actually see what's going on because everything's moving so fast and the fish disappear and then boom, they come right back and grab it. Really neat. You want him back here, Pete? Woo! That's not a bad one. Let's Either. go! It's a little bigger than I thought. Yeah. Way to go! Hey. <laughs> I like it. That is cool. That was I was sweet. complaining again. Yeah, hey, you, you gotta know? complain sometimes. Right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna complain constantly. Nah, that probably won't work if I do it constantly. No, you can't do it all the time. Awesome. That was a cool figure eight. Oh, uh, he was well fired done. up. That yeah. fish was <laughs> that fish was gonna eat. Yeah, smoking hot. <laughs> what do we got going there, buddy? Oh well this is the fun part of musky fishing. It's actually been kind of tough today and all of a sudden this fish just came in with an attitude. It's funny when you can see them like that you could just tell looking in their eyes and Josh knew right away too he started doing the figure eights did a great job and it just smoked that bucktail but it is it is really so exciting to see one just pumped up like that and uh, this is the fun part of it it's a nice fish too it's not a giant but that's a you know 44 45 inch look at, fish look at that freaking look hook. at that oh yeah he wasn't going anywhere absolutely inhaled that viper i mean that yeah. whole bucktail <laughs> back trebles in the mouth yeah all right vipers out get her down 
That was cool. Right. Yep, good. Oh, oh. Yeah, I like that. That's a better fish than I thought. There we go. I'm trying to get a little selfie action here too. Go. Always got to do that. Very a, nice. Yeah, that's a nice healthy fish. Yeah. Went around maybe two times on the figure eight with the Viper and she yeah. she crushed it on the turn, hung it a little bit. That was really cool. It really Beautiful was. fish. Yep. Nice build. We appreciate it. It was nice to see you coming with that stupid look in your eye. <laughs> I want it! I want it! That's I'm going to eat it! That's what we wait for. <laughs> That is cool. All right, I suppose we should. Yeah, we should probably. Get her back. Water's cooling off. But this side's fine. Water off. I think so. Nice to see one All right. like I like that. it. Yeah, yeah. Now there's no hugs. I don't do hugs, but I was very happy to see that. That's just once across with the pole over the bar behind me here. I think I got one coming. 